Hello, my treasures. It's time to feel a bit nostalgic with Boom Warrior, centered around the new safety expert, which will shuffle three bombs into our opponent's deck, allowing us to revisit the glory of Bomb Warrior. Now, because this is really the only enabler that we do have for this strategy, we are going to be relying on things like Boom Wrench and Inventor Boom in order to get additional copies of this Death Rattle. Overall, this deck, while it wasn't the best in the world, does have enough survivability tools in this version compared to the original version that I had in my Day 1 decks. Now, for the willing guide of the deck, you are going to be looking for early game removal tools such as Blade Storm, draw power cards such as Town Crier, which will allow us to draw into Safety Expert, and finally, Chemical Spill. This will allow us to get out a Safety Expert on turn 5. Now, with that all being said, let's look at some game. Okay, time for a game against Paladin. This is probably going to be an aggro matchup, which makes me a little bit sad because this isn't going to be our best matchup in the world. I'm going to keep everything besides Safety Expert here, probably. There are cases where you might want to keep him in case your opponent is playing a class or a deck that might be running Dirty Rat. That is a play that I've really been trying to find a replay for, but I sadly haven't been able to. But it doesn't really matter because even if we mulligan away uh, Safety Expert, for some reason we'll draw into him instantly, right? A coin into... Miracle Salesman times two... Can we get a blade storm? No, we cannot. Okay, well, we're gonna pass it back and then just do damage to their face. Okay, reinforce the board a little bit. Come on, blade storm would be really, really cool. I actually, blade storm doesn't work. Though forging the bellowing flames should be good. Uh, then we can just pass it after we get rid of the one one. Hopefully they don't flood the board too much here, right? Okay, there's Righteous Protector. Okay, uh, you gotta love when your opponent slams down a bunch of 2 HP minions, and in theory you could have a Blade Storm. I know we don't have a Blade Storm. Well, actually no, it wouldn't have worked because we have the 1 HP minion on board. But this should... Oh, well, we're lucky here, I guess. I'm gonna use one of the safety goggles because I want to feel a little bit extra safe just in case. I know our opponent probably won't be able to deal with it either, so at a maximum, they'll probably do two damage to us. But it looks like they don't have it. Okay, Gold Panner is actually pretty good for us. Uh, oh, I mean, yeah, we can slam this down, get rid of the Gold Panner. That's just perfect. Well, I mean, mm -hmm. Snake Oil is one of those funny cards, or I mean, Miracle Salesman is actually, I guess, a funny card. Where I get why they nerfed it, because it was in like every single deck. Because whenever you needed a one drop, Miracle Salesman is just a really good one drop. And then like there are some matchups where it actually feels really awful to play against. Where your opponent was just slamming down some zero cost spells. A bunch of damage. But like now that we don't have that, eh, I don't know. Eh, the Sif list that is probably going to end up floating around for a while, this is my prediction, is the one where you use watercolor artists in order to draw into buy one, get one freeze. So you can get basically three Sifts for the price of one and then just OTK your opponent using a good old Molten Rune. But I, I know that deck may or may not catch on eventually but we'll see it might actually be a deck that i visit here in the nearby future i would almost want to doubt it okay there are two minions that are left alive i kind of want to get rid of one but i kind of just want to pass the turn just in case too okay uh what would get rid of this board i guess we don't really care if we get rid of the board itself if we can draw or oh maybe we do we can use garrosh's gift i guess garrosh's gift get brawl and then oh they're hmm or blade storm blade storm actually will help out by quite a bit reduces the amount of minions by a, a bunch I kind of want to draw an additional card. I, I know probably wasn't the best idea, but additional armor is really good. Course Rift isn't bad. The, the 
downside or plus side of this deck is in theory, I think there is a deck that you could easily run as Bomb Warrior, but the problem you run into is you need to find the perfect wiggle room of having too much draw power and not enough draw power, right? I, I think this is probably pretty close to the perfect list for the deck, but it, it definitely isn't the easiest in the world to play, so you never know, right? sanitize forge the sanitize okay well <laughs> for one one hp minions i don't know if this is the best solution it probably is actually no let's just do the course drift be a little bit greedy yeah yeah yeah, yeah. we might as well do it like this now that is the reason why we should have probably cleared the board out uh <laughs> ooh. Uh, Crusader's Aura is definitely a card that I I am very sick and tired of seeing, to be honest, at this point. So, we might actually have to use our weapon durability here. We actually, mm, we have a few options that we could do. Uh, sanitize is probably the best solution, to be honest. Like, I don't want to attack. Well, maybe we won't. I don't know. How greedy do I actually want to be is the question. I really want to be greedy. Uh, let's, let's draw a few cards, see if we can get anything good. Uh, well, I mean, uh, uh, actually, that, that changes everything. Probably shouldn't have done it like that. But, you know, it clears out the board, doesn't use our durability on the weapon. We're really looking for a chemical spill. I I could uh, I'm not gonna say or phrase it how I was gonna phrase it. It's gonna be a showdown for who's better here. I really do not like the combo between showdown and Crusader Zora. It is just incredibly strong. Personatic beam. They should have attacked first, even if they might have had one HP minion. There is our chemical spill. Okay. Okay, we have a few options. I'm going to use the chemical spill while I remember. Uh, how do we want to do this? We have five mana still. We probably should use the wrench. Four mana. Math, 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 math. Let's use this to buff up our red. Get rid of two of the minions, draw another card, and then pass it back to them. We just shuffled in nine into their deck, which is great for us. Bad for them if they can actually top deck them. Because whenever I'm playing this or Plague DK, I can never get my opponent to draw into our cards that we shuffled into their deck. It is what it is. It is a little bit annoying, but yeah. Well, okay, that <laughs> that is a card that I okay. How how do we deal with this? We already used Blade Storm. Uh, probably Zilliax, to be honest. I think we use Zilliax. This should force them to attack into our minions. I. It also depends on how, like how bad they misplay, right? Okay, I guess they're not going to misplay that much. I would really... Oh. <laughs> so next turn, we this should have increased our survivability by a little bit. Not as much as I had hoped, because they do have that Crusader or number two, plus it only does two damage at a time. But... Uh, that does absolutely nothing. I think our plan here will probably be boom I'm like 80 percent sure that we'll just yeah might as well slam down boom i would have preferred some extra bombs but it is what it is All right get rid of both of those then we can slam down another minion just in case gain some armor increase our survivability by a little bit more and then we just got a hope our opponent does not have a prismatic beam and hopefully they draw into like four or five bombs right here, but I guess they're not going to. Hmm. 
Well, I mean, that didn't clear out the board. Play dumb. Play kind of dumb. And that gets rid of one. Well, I guess... Hmm. That's fine. Come on. Just... <laughs> Play dumb. Go face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Go face. Actually, I don't know why I'm rooting for that. Yes, please. <laughs> Good old rope. That's what you get for playing slow. Am I right? Okay, Garrosh's gift. All right, let's grab Brawl. I'm going to slam down the count or town crier, and hopefully one of our minions survive. I don't really care which one it is. Actually, I would prefer it to be Doctor Boom, but that's fine. Okay, let's forge this down. I'm not going to use anything else. Whoa, we're at eight HP. Um, just don't have six. There are variants of this list that I know that are running. Well, I mean, Leroy is the main card that I'd be concerned about, but like there are other equally as bad options for us. Hopefully, we don't have to deal with them. How do we actually deal with this board? <laughs> One top deck of the century. That could work. That could. Oh, that could actually definitely work. All right, we just got to survive a little bit longer. We don't have that many cards left in deck, which is going to be a problem, though. I will say that. Okay, come on, just draw four. End this game by drawing four in a row, please. Four in a row. That is not four in a row. That is two in a row, which is close, but it isn't four. Uh, Stomper, does that? That doesn't necessarily do anything. Okay, so first rift. Okay, this is gonna look maybe a little bit dumb. We're gonna use verse rift and then basically get four attack here. Come on. We just need them to top deck one. Let's go. Okay, time for a game against Shaman, and let's see what we have in store for us today. There are a few Shaman decks that I really, really want to try out. I don't know when I'm going to eventually get to them, but there's a few ideas that I've been thinking about ever since this mini set came out. I know it literally just came out, but there are a wide variety of things. There's the Star or Wish Upon a Star deck with Shutter Block and the new Growfin. Also, we're going to get rid of most of the cards in the hand. This hand actually looks a lot better than it did before. Um, but yeah, no, there's that deck. There is a Nature Shaman list with a Evolve package, and there's also a Nature Shaman list where basically the only two Battlecry minions that we're going to be running in the deck are Alex Traza and Malaghost, then drawing them off of the location and such. I know we will probably eventually get to those decks, but I, I don't, again, I don't know when we'll get to those decks. Hopefully it'll be sooner than later. I think the other deck for this week is going to be Hunter. Secret Hunter is something that I've been really, really wanting to try out. I really love Project 9, and I think this that would be a perfect opportunity to do so. They're just going to use their hero power, pass it back to us. Uh, then we're probably just going to rush face, draw a few additional cards, see if we can draw into our minions really, really quickly here. Okay, safety expert. <laughs> I mean, we're missing a chemical spill and we're missing a boom wrench. Uh, while I never got around to testing it, maybe sticking in instrument tech would be a pretty good card for our boom wrench, but I don't know. It... it Having targeted draw power is decent, right? But maybe that that was the mistake with a lot of the earlier versions of the list. I had so much draw power, but not anything else. Um, let's draw a card. Might as well. I'm going to leave everything. Oh, well, yeah, we're going to leave everything else up. And are we burning a card next turn? That is we are. Uh, <laughs> That's not nice. Well, it is what it is, right? Well, I mean, out of all the cards we could have burned, that actually is the worst option. 
We do have the chemical spill if we really, really feel like it. But I think using Belling Flames here should allow us to clear out the majority of the board because it turns out if there's an R minion on board, that the second effect will trigger no matter what. Uh, yeah, might as well get rid of the 0-2. I know this is a evolved shaman list that I kind of wanted to try out because it is actually kind of cool. We're using or they're using uh, a toy chest of soldiers or whatever it's called, where it gets the five one ones, and then you can easily evolve them because I think these all count as three drops or maybe two drops. Doesn't really matter. I'm assuming this is probably a Reno variant because they haven't played any duplicates yet. Safety Goggle is not really a card that we wanted to burn, but it could have been a lot worse here. All right, so hmm, how do we do this? I think we'll probably forge down the Bellion Flames, attack into the 1-1, one, one, and then use Bellion Flames on the 10-10. I think that's the best solution. I don't think it is a good solution, but I think it's the best solution. Fool's gold. Oh, we're going to make them feel like the fool in this game. Oh, interesting. So that would make me think they're playing a uh, Reno variant of the list. Again, there are a lot of different variants that I really want to try out. Reno isn't really what, necessarily what I want to try out, but like... Let's get rid of that minion and then forge this down, pass it back to them. I will say her priest is one of the, the ones that I am most worried about just because of the fact that they do... Wait, did I say priest? I meant shops. Um, One of the few classes that does have target removal, that could be a big pain in the butt to actually deal with. Okay, there's Shroomication. Again, I really... I don't know. Oh, that, that isn't the removal I was thinking of, but yes, it is. Definitely, yeah, that... Let, let's draw a card. Okay, that that's fine. We really shouldn't have attacked with the 1-1 one, one into that, but that's my mistake. We've got to survive a little bit longer. I don't... Again, it has to be a renal variant, right? Okay, uh... We can use Garrosh Gift. I guess we can go for the Execute. Use a blade storm that gets rid of most of the things, but it doesn't get rid of Goliath. And then we can use the execute to get rid of it. And might as well draw a few cards. They won't have anything else to deal with it, hopefully. Oh, a bucket of soldiers. Oh, that is what it's called. I, I thought it was a box of soldiers or something. Okay, falling. Okay, okay, okay. Wave of nostalgia. Or oh. <laughs> okay, well, you know, that is the perfect minion here. Boy, oh boy, <laughs> we're going to feel like a Godzilla right about now. I There's probably a way we could maximize this a little bit further than we're going to be maximizing it here right now. But we're just going to pretend uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, now that we're through the games, let's discuss my final thoughts of the deck. I played 30 games with the deck with a 40% win rate, which was lower than I had originally expected. But truth be told, this combo is a little bit slow for modern Hearthstone since we are relying on a 10 cost minion without very many ways to discount him. It is also worth mentioning that Part Scrapper was in the initial version of the list, but it felt dead most of the time, which is why we ended up cutting it for additional removal tools and draw power cards that will target only our minions. Overall, if you're looking for a way to revisit Bomb Warrior from Hearthstone's history, this is probably the best that you're probably going to get in standard Hearthstone. But if you're not going to be looking for a way to revisit that, then pass up on this deck and try something else out. There are a lot of fun little possibilities in standard right now, thanks to the mini set. But like always, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye bye.